Hey, what's up, gang? This is uh, Brady, Powerful Monkey Edge. Here live at G3, off the beaten path. We had to get off of that floor because there's too much noise, a little too crazy to film. And uh, I almost feel embarrassed giving an introduction here a little bit because it should be self-evident to everybody out there watching this who's sitting to my left here. But uh, for those of you guys who've been under a rock, this is Mike Snowdy. Hey, guys. Snowdy Knives out of uh, Texas, the realest maker in the game, as they say. And uh, I'm just thrilled to have him for a couple minutes. And he's on his way out of here with this sack of money to sit down and rap with us for a little bit here at Monkey Edge. So, what's up, man? How was the show for you? show was great, man. Uh, we sold 58 knives in the first hour. I saw the table. It was crazy, man. Yeah, we brought in new banners this year. and tried yeah. to Used a little bit of different imagery. And um, paid off good. It was a good show. Good turnout. Awesome. So, what was what was new for the show? I mean, you had the. Uh, I want to give them a rundown. You had the, the the DLC knives. Yeah, we basically developed a new product line specifically for this show. We brought in knives that were priced at a lower price point, ninety nine dollars, one hundred and ninety nine, and two ninety nine, just to keep it simple. And the people responded well to those price points. Yeah. Yeah. You know, a lot of people have, have asked, you know, a lot of the guys it, both in and out of the industry have kind of like, you know, uh, you get a lot of kind of like, well, what the hell is Mike Snowdy doing? Is he, is he building, you know, $3,000 folders? Is he building, util you know, user knives or, you know, what's going on? You know, and without giving away any trade secrets, there is a method to the madness, right? I mean. Yeah, we basically get it how we live, man. We, um, we've got a certain number we have to hit every month to feed my kids, buy shoes, keep my partner out of jail. And basically, if we can do that with the $2,000 folders, we do it. If I see the demand for a knife at $199, $299, we bust it out. It's really all about the bottom line. We want to be in business forever. We want to be able to back our clients. We want to be a strong company that can con continue to innovate. And to do these things, we have to have a constant inflow of cash. So we just switch it up. Yeah, yeah. Well, and since you have row after row of, uh, of machines just pumping these things out, it's real easy, right? Yeah, yeah it's it, real easy, man. It's um, <laughs> one of the things that has put us on the top is we've remained true to the traditions of old school cutlery. We grind our blades by hand. All of our work is done in house in South Texas. We like to keep our money local as opposed to sending it overseas or paying for machinery that was built in Taiwan. We, we keep it real and do it by hand. Yeah, you know, obviously the, the machine thing was kind of a joke because the machine. No, are, I'm glad you said are, that. The, the machines are right here, you know. The number <laughs> of knives that we produce, a lot of people are under the impression that we must be using machinery. We're just a bunch of hardheads that get up every morning and look in the mirror and say, man, let's get it. We go out there and grind all day. It's all we do. At the end of the week, we might build 200 pieces, but we've put in, you know, 180 man hours. So I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because there's a lot of new people coming into this game and they really don't know how we're building these knives. Right, right. Well, you know, and again, you know, there's nothing wrong. You know, there's obviously talented makers. That, a machine is nothing more than a tool. But when it becomes a crutch, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's kind all of good. A There's story, a place you know? for all of us. Yeah. But our demographic is looking for heirloom type quality that was actually built by hand. Our guys want to look at two blades and see the subtle differences so yeah. they can recognize that they were built by human hands. That's, that's the reason that cutlery will always be a strong business and always have a strong following. Yeah, because you kind of have that very primal, you know, man's oldest tool type of thing, you know, prior, exactly. you know, other than, other than a rock. But, uh, you know, you know, I just want to, obviously, we, I'd love, you know, I'd love to sit down all day and, and, and get stories and, uh, um, you know, coming up and, and the whole nine yards and where you've seen in the cutlery game, where you see the cutlery game going, but I know you got to get back on a plane uh, to get back home and, and we do uh, we're launching a new facility and um, I just want to thank you for taking time away from your schedule to sit down with me because um, this is a win-win situation Snowdy Knives working with Monkey Edge this guy is so aggressive and so hungry on top of his game that there's no telling 
how many diamonds you'll see in my watch next year. This is 21 carats, and with Brady backing me, I'm thinking maybe 36 carats next year. So on each one, oh. on each one, you can't have the left getting jealous of the right. Man. No way, no way. Yeah, I, I'm thrilled to spend the time with you, man. And I, like I said. Uh, Maybe just give the, maybe just give uh, everybody knows kind of the YouTube videos and even people outside the knife game, but like give your your the, the ten second resume. I mean, you've been doing this for a long time, man. We've got know? fifteen years. Um, I support a family. I've got employees. Short term goals for the remainder of this year. We're going to be sending a lot of unique product to Monkey Edge. We're gonna kind of back off the radar and let guys like Brady distribute our product and that will enable me to spend more time in my shop focusing on manufacturing, which is really my passion. I really wanna get knives in the hands of everybody out there that I can. The collectors of knives, the people that are using knives for self-defense, the people that are using knives in their kitchens, I want all of their money. We don't alienate, we don't discriminate. The only color we see is green and we want it all. <laughs> nice. Hey, real quick, man, I'll let you go. Why don't you uh, give a quick rundown on, uh, on these guys here? This is... This is... These are new knives by my apprentice, uh, Joseph Bowen, who in his own right is a very talented tattoo artist. Joseph approached me about 36 months ago and told me he had a desire to learn how to build knives. Fast forward and he's a full-time employee at Snowdy Knives. He does operations like rough grinding, drilling holes, keeping my shop clean, feeding my goats, um, breaking up chicken fights. But now I'm on a mission to promote Joseph Bowen because these are awesome knives. He's busting these out at about half of what they're worth. Brady's gonna be carrying some of his knives. They're built in my shop, so you're buying a knife from a new guy, but he's got a snowy pedigree. He's been in my shop three years, so you can be guaranteed that the, the ergonomics and the geometry and the function and the heat treat is all done right. Yeah, I mean, you could obviously see some influence from your work there, but it's... You it's know, true, it's and I have not... You know, and, I, and, and, I haven't, and I haven't, you know? I haven't yeah. discouraged that. You know, yeah. he approached me and he's like, dude, this looks like your knife, and I'm like, yeah, it looks like my knife because I trained you to do this, and you're working in my shop on my machinery, but that's not a bad thing. But the good thing is, Snowdy Knives is sold out, and if you want a knife that's, that's Snowdy-esque, built by my apprentice for about half the price, then... You know, you need to look up Brady at Monkey Edge, man, because he'll hook you up. Yeah, it's kind of you know, snowy influence, but with this, with a new twist on it. So it'll be cool to see kind of, you know, especially as he comes up as a knife maker. And, and it's always cool to see, you know, the relationship of, of, of kind of master and apprentice in, in any craft is something that's like a time-honored tradition. So it'll be cool to see as he comes up as it an is, artist, it, you know, it, and, and you guys kind of gel and even true, collaborate, yeah. you know. Yeah. So it is very satisfying to me to see him producing world-class cutlery at this point. Well, man, I will let you get with all that money, get on that plane and go back home and take care of business. I'm, I'm honored that you had a time to sit down with me and, and talk and I'm looking forward to working with you. And, Likewise, and you know I have hustle, huge respect, man. All so right, I appreciate it, dude. Looking forward to our new all right. relationship. Hey, this is Brady here with Mike Snowdy, G3 in Vegas in an empty room, signing off. See you.